Benfica nil, Manchester United nil. Uh, we mentioned at the start of the programme that these two teams have had some fantastic meetings in the past, some great players, some great football. And, and Didi Haman, this isn't one of them. It's no. been awful. Dreadful. Mm. Absolutely dreadful. Um, Benfica backs to the wall, seven goals conceded, first two games. I don't think we could um, see or, or expect the most confident uh, of teams going out tonight, uh, but United should be full of confidence uh, of a decent result at Anfield on Saturday. Um, and there's one thing, trying to stop the opposition playing, trying to defend and not, not concede a goal, but there's another thing, passing the ball, and there were so many balls missed, easy passes, 10, 15 yards, which, where they just miss a, a ball, which is, which is a, a basic ingredient to, 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 to play football. Um, and it was just, uh, yeah, defensively, they've been pretty solid. They didn't allow an awful lot. But going forward, it was absolutely dreadful. Yeah, and Richie, it was one of the areas that we touched on beforehand, mm. one of the areas that they were criticised post-Saturday is that at times at Anfield, a lot, they were just not good with the ball. And we've more examples, as Didi has alluded to there, of that. That was the biggest talking point after their performance on Saturday, was as a creative or attacking force, they were very, very limited. And we all assumed, well, we know that it was because of the, the, the setup that Mourinho sent the players out. But this isn't, you, you, you can't put any of these, blame any of this on, on, on Mourinho. This is just players on the ball, just giving the ball away cheaply. They're just very, very little quality in possession of the ball. Um, Rashford here is an opportunity. If he can't get by his man, he should know he's running out of pitch. Try and win a throw in, hold on to the ball, do something. Herrera in this example just kicks the ball forward aimlessly to the goalkeeper. No one's within 15 yards of that. It happens so often. I mean, this package here is only, I don't know, a minute or 90 seconds there. The, in link up play. This example here, bear in mind they're playing against an 18 year old goalkeeper who, any time we've seen him, he looks very unconvincing from crosses. This is a corner kick which finds its way back to the man on the halfway line and he just lobs it forward to two of the most static front men in Lukaku and Rashford there. It's, it's, like it's been woeful. It's been really, really poor. Okay, and uh, Damien, bearing in mind all of that, Manchester United have had 61% of uh, the possession during the first half. So what, when they've been able to get the passes together, what have they done with it in terms of chances? They've still created, uh, obviously, a couple of chances. Um, we have Rashford here, who, who has been poor on the ball. He, he swaps wings for a couple of minutes and he's, um, I think if he gets the timing of his header there right, he gets on target, it's a goal. Um, but I still think if they up their tempo in any shape or form, um, Benfica are there for the take and they haven't got out of first or second gear. Um, Matt the chair back at his old club, great run and I'm pleased for the young keeper there with a, with a good save. But um, I don't think Benfica have an awful lot more to, to, to offer. Like Diddy said, they've, their confidence is low, they look rattled and what you see is what you get with them here. This, this is going to be their biggest threat for me. Mkhitaryan should do better but they're playing with such a high line. I think there have been five, six, possibly even seven offsides. And if the timing of the run or the pass is anyway better, I think they'll get in. And like I said, if they up the gears, I think Benfica are here for the taking. All right. Well, it's been a forgettable first half in Lisbon.